Hi, this is James from TracyMac.co.uk and Unboxings.com and I'm here with the new Sony Ericsson Elm which is part of their Greenheart range which uh, means that the uh, it's uh, an eco-friendly device the, uh, the actual handset is made from recycled plastics and it's free from uh, certain chemicals um, which is nice anyway, um, we're going to do an unboxing here um, this, as far as I'm aware, is the full retail packaging um, the box is very small and I would imagine inside it's uh, fairly minimal uh, which is all part of the uh, the eco-friendly uh, green thing that Sony Ericsson are going for um, so let's dive in and see what's inside okay first off we have the handset but we will uh, we'll come to that in just a few minutes next we have a wall charger which has got the, uh, the standard Sony Ericsson uh, proprietary connector there. We have a, a USB cable again with the, uh, the Sony Ericsson connector. Some inline headphones which feel extremely lightweight. Let's see if we can get into them. Okay. Yeah they don't feel the best quality but uh, we'll give them a We'll give them a good run for their money in the full review. Um, there's the microphone there. There's there's no volume controls on the actual on the actual uh, headphones itself. And finally, inside we have some paperwork. What have we got here? Um, Sorry, information and stuff like that. Um, that bit was in Russian. And we have important information. Oh, this is just the uh, the warranty and that sort of thing. Both these uh, little booklets are extremely uh, <clears throat> the paper is extremely thin uh, and a bit of a although it's slightly glossy, it's uh, it's it's obviously recycled. So let's have a look at the device itself. This is the uh, Sony Ericsson Elm. Um, looking around the device on the uh, on the left hand side, all we have is the uh, uh, the USB connection, the uh, Sony Ericsson proprietary uh, port there. On the bottom, um, the only thing that I can see there is a microphone. On the right hand side we have a, an up down volume rocker and there's a dedicated camera key. And that feels quite nice. Uh, nothing on the top of the device, that's totally flush. And on the back we have the, uh, the 5 megapixel camera lens and there's a flash. Then looking at the front of the device, um, we have two soft keys underneath the screen. Of course, send an end. There's a cancel button, which probably uh, acts as a back a back button as well. And there's another kind of menu button there. And then we have a, a, a four-way up, down, left, right D-pad in the centre of the device. So I'm just going to stick a SIM card in there, and then we'll I'll get it powered on and have a look and see. Uh, have a look and see what's under the bonnet, sort of, so to speak. <clears throat> there we go. And while that's moving up, just run through the, uh, the, the the specs very quickly for you. Uh, in terms of size, the the Sony Ericsson is 110 millimeters tall. 45 millimeters in width and 14 millimeters in depth, so it's not the thin thinnest of device. Um, it's certainly fatter in the middle, as you can see there. Um, nice and lightweight, though. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, screen size is 240 by 320. It's QVGA screen. Uh, as I said, it's got a 5 megapixel camera, digital zoom, uh, smile detection, video recording. Um, music player, FM radio built in. In terms of connectivity, we have Wi Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, and oh, we also have Wise Pilot, which is uh, Sony Ericsson's 10x10 turn turn navigation. That uh, I've tried that on a couple, of only, uh, a couple of other Sony Ericsson devices, and that's proved uh, a pretty handy thing to have. So let's have a look here. Um, normal mode. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Orange. This isn't an orange-branded handset. This has come from Sony Ericsson. It's just that I've put a, uh, 
um, an orange SIM card in there. So, looking at these soft keys, the left hand one is a short a shortcut key to our contacts. It's fairly straightforward. The right hand side is a search. Oh, that's quite nice because that lets us perform a Google search nice and easily. Um, the left hand soft key is Oh, that's got various things. It's got new events there. There's four tabs. There's a running application, so that's kind of like a task manager, I suppose. My shortcuts, Wi-Fi. And we might as well connect to Wi-Fi because then we can have a look at the uh, have a look at the web browser. Out of range? No, I'm not. Okay, just gonna put my uh, password in. Now connect. At some point today. There we go. Okay, so that's now connected to the Wi-Fi. And we can see a logo there, a nice green logo at the top. Um, where were we? Oops, the daisy. And then the final tab there is the internet. Ah, oh, so we can obviously put some bookmarks in there, I would imagine. Um, looking at the main menu, using the uh, the D-pad in the centre. Um, okay, we've got 12 tabs there. We've got a Play Now one, the internet, we'll have a quick look at that. Um, I'm not very good at typing on this sort of keypad, so uh, bear, bear with me. Oh, told you. Oh, it's got predictive text set up. Okay, we'll just Google Sky and uh, see what that brings up. Yeah, well that was fairly quick. So there's an on-screen <clears throat> there's an on-screen cursor, kind of like a mouse, and that's controlled by the D-pad. Let's click on this uh, on Sky.com and see uh, what it looks like. Okay, so it's 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 fairly basic, but that's what we would expect. Um, just letting us see the photos though. Let's see if we can get, get a photo full screen by clicking on it. Yeah, obviously not. It seems to perform fairly well for a, a basic uh, a basic phone though. It's uh, it's not too bad. The the, the screen is very uh, very legible, um, so you certainly won't have a problem uh, reading text on it. Jumping back into the menu. Um, We've got an entertainment section, which has got stuff like the radio and games in there. We've got then got the camera interface, which I'll show you that just quickly. And let's test that out. Where's the plug? There we go. Hmm, it looks reasonable. Wasn't the quickest to uh, to auto focus and. Uh, and take the picture, but uh, not too bad. Um, okay, messaging application. Oh, we've got Facebook integrated there. That'll be interesting to see uh, what that's all about. Uh, a media tab. So we've got photos, music, videos, games, web feeds, and settings. Location services. We've got Google Maps and uh, the navigation in there. Contacts. Calendar. That looks nice and easy to use, nice and easy to uh, find where you want to go and also to uh, to add meetings etc to the calendar. Uh, we've got a call, records, organizer, we've got alarms, file manager, tasks, that sort of thing. And finally the settings. So overall for a basic handset it doesn't it doesn't look too bad at all. Um, <clears throat> I'll be doing the full review of this uh, within the next week or two, so uh, you can find that on tracymac.co.uk.